Okay, well, we've stopped in. Last week we finished uh, Romans 10. So we're going to start in, uh, in 11. But as the first, the past ones, 9, like 9 and 10, we're going back to Israel's uh, rejection of the gospel, whereas 9 and 10 and now as we're getting into 11, we're going to start getting into the the rejection is not complete there's still there's still some that uh, uh that are going to believe as we read in the end of uh, of 10 so 11 starts off i say then has god cast away his people certainly not for i am also an israelite of the seed of abraham of the tribe of benjamin god has not cast away his people whom he foreknew or do you not know what the scripture says of elijah how he pleads with God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what does the divine response say to him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed, to the, bowed the knee to bow. And in the, in the beginning, as I'm saying, we're still... Uh, we're in, we're in Romans, but Paul is going back to the Old Testament too, with the uh, with Israel and the uh, the Jews and the uh, and the the Gentiles, and using them kind of not against each other, but still being uh, the Gentiles receiving the receiving the salvation first instead of the Jews. The Jews not really trusting in that Jesus was the King and Jesus was the Messiah, so they kind of dis dismissed that and wanted. Just like in the Old Testament, within the when it goes back to kings, well, they wanted a king, they wanted a man, instead of when they had God. Now in the New Testament, and now instead of having Jesus the Messiah, well, they still wanted a king, which was Caesar, and they wanted to do things still according to the, uh, according to, according to works and according to the laws. But in two, it goes back to said God has not cast away his his people whom he foreknew, and back in in eight it talks about that the. In 829, 828, it says, uh, I mean, 829, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be the firstborn among many brethren. So even still in, in, in this, uh, in Romans, he still, God already knew who, who was gonna who was gonna accept them who he already predestined to uh, uh, to receive him and those who and those who weren't uh, gonna receive him as in as in Elijah's case he saved the 7,000 that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't bow uh, to Baal who were still who were still trusting in God even though all of the rejection was still going on it wasn't a total uh, a total rejection of the uh, of the scripture and as, it, as we go down in 5, even so then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So that, that, uh, that remnant in that, in that 9, in back in 9.27, Isaiah is, is crying out again back in, uh, to, uh, concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, the remnant will be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because the Lord will make a short work upon the earth. So even in even in, in the old from the Old Testament to the New Testament, and even till now, there is still the the rejection of the of the gospel. There is still the uh, those who do, who do not believe, and there is still those who who try to to receive receive salvation through uh, through works. And in, in six is his where it's going to get into it. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is, but if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. So in in those there, it's explaining that it's not just we can receive the salvation through the, through works. How the how the Jews. It's what the Jews wanted to wanted to do. They wanted to do everything by uh, by good works and following the laws, which is which is good to follow the laws, but then they're dismissing the grace towards the 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 Gentiles and, and everybody else who was uh, uh, who was receiving it. And in that in that manner, we go back to 
righteousness, the, the, the election of, 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 of grace and, uh, and the righteousness and back in, in still in Romans in, four, in Romans 4 we go back to where it's speaking about Abraham Abraham and, uh, uh, and David where they were uh, justified by that same, by the same faith Ab uh, Romans 4, 4, 4, 3 for what does the scripture say Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness now to him who works the wages are not counted as grace but as debt so still in that in that righteousness in the building of our faith we get to uh, we get to receive the salvation and in that receiving salvation we still we are still going to do the good works that he's a uh, uh, that he's called us to do now in seven what then Israel has not obtained what it seeks but the elect have ob obtained it and the rest were blinded there I want to just stop there for in seven what then Israel has not obtained what it seeks Israel was looking for like I'm saying for the for the king some some man to come in and, and, and change and and make them and make the Jew the Jews to receive all of the the promises of, of uh, the promises of God and in that seven in the elect just as he the elect have obtained it that same elect back up in in verse uh, verse okay in verse 5 it goes back to uh, even so at this present time there's a remnant according to the election of grace so there's still the elect of God is still electing and, and choosing who he's gonna who he's gonna uh, who he's gonna use and who's gonna receive him and then it goes further down like I'm saying Israel but the elect have obtained it and the rest were blind who God predestined who God foreknew us the ones who were gonna receive him those who are the ones who, but then who obtained it, and then the rest were blinded, just as it is written. God has given them a spirit of stupor, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, to this very day. So even even in in, the, in them times, when we're looking for when we're looking for for salvation, when we're looking for 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 grace and mercy, we can get caught up in in what the law is and, the, and the, the things of this world but at that same time God is still working God is God is still moving God is still still pe uh, speaking to his elect God is still speaking to his remnant to the ones who who are going to follow his laws who are going to still uh, be faithful and do the things that uh, that he's called them to do and it's not anything uh, me and my wife were speaking the other day that sometimes we give we give Satan too much credit for when things go wrong in our uh, in our lives because at the same time in scripture it says that the Lord will set stumbling blocks before us so that we could grow and sometimes with our intentions we want to make it seem like oh well all these bad things are happening well sometimes we got to step back and see well where is where am I at when and with with my walk in Christ is there something that that I need to change is there something that I need growth in is there something that I need a teaching in and or a correction in so that I could further so that I could further the kingdom so that I could further my uh, uh, my faith and further give and further give back to those uh, to those who don't who don't know and not just by uh, by the works by the things that we do but by but by faith in the in the scripture and in his word and what he says is true from the Old Testament to the New Testament till, till now, it's still the same. The Lord has raised up those to, to speak the word of God, to, to speak the gospel, and the world has rejected it. Some are going to receive it, some are going to reject it. It's not, we just do, we just do our, our part to, to preach the word of God, to, uh, to give others uh, the hope, and that hope is in, uh, in Jesus and the things, that, the things that he has for us to uh, uh, to do for him and after and after that that's uh Elijah speaking there and then in David in the nine David says let their table become a <coughs> snare and a trap a stumbling block and a recompense to them let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see and bow down their back always so these are still even even in this there's still the rejection there's still there's still the rejection and even 
David and and uh, Elijah and still them, the, the kings and everybody still praying for for that for that that change. And even though they're being used, they're still they're still there's still rejection and they're still and they still sought just the same way to kill David, to uh, to to have him removed because of the man that he was and the things that he was doing because of the wickedness that was in that was in in that time was trying to come against God's people just the same way it is now the wickedness of this world is coming against God's people and it's even hard it's becoming even harder for people to want to go out and share their faith for people to want to step out and to give and to give uh, to give a word or, or, or to stand on the uh, the promises that that God has given us so that we don't look uh, we don't look foolish or we don't look in a, in a certain way because of the what the world uh, what, uh, because of what the world says or or anything in that uh, in that manner so uh, again like here in 11 like I'm saying it's just the rejection is there it's 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 evident like in now the rejection is there but it's not completely there there's still the remnant that's being raised up and we are that we are that uh, that remnant on what the Lord on what the who the Lord has chosen to raise up to uh, to be able to to minister and to do these things that that the apostles and the disciples were doing back in them times what we what we were supposed to be doing now in these times right now so uh with that before i continue anybody have anything to to share well uh, the thing is that's what happens with christians i see a lot of christians in my workplace and everywhere i go that are down and out and almost hurt with god one of the reasons is we present Christianity or we present the Lord like if you come to him, it's going to be a great life, which it is, yeah, yeah. but they take it in the way I will never get hurt. Yeah. I will never, I will never suffer a hardship in mm -hmm. finances. Uh, my spouse will <coughs> never leave me. I will never get sick. They take it that way. And whenever things do come upon them, they're hurt with God now and said, I, you know, I thought this was supposed to be a good life. Well, mm -hmm. like I was telling this uh, lady the, the other day, she told me, uh, you know, she said, well, you came out of this COVID and stuff and it looked like it didn't affect you too much. I said, it's not, it, COVID don't have any control over me only because COVID, she said, you know, you don't take COVID, you didn't take COVID seriously. I said, I do take it seriously, but I don't take it seriously. She said, why? I said, because I take my God more serious than COVID. Because I bowed down to my God than COVID or cancer or whatever. The, the thing is, I am going to suffer hardship. I am going to get sick. But here's the good thing. Cancer comes upon me. COVID comes upon me. What is it going to do? To live is Christ. To die is gain. So what, what power does COVID have over me or cancer or anything? Mm -hmm. But the gospel is presented in such a way that if you come to him, you're going to have a great life which you are, but the thing is, it's not without suffering. It's not gonna be away from this world. It's not gonna, you know, you the rain gotta, falls you, not just the You still just, gotta work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still yeah, gotta work. It's not like a, you know, it's not like a welfare program. Yeah. It, you know, you, Christianity has been presented in a way that it's hard for me to, to minister to people sometimes because I thought this was gonna be, I thought that my financial troubles were going to be over. I thought that I was going to get miraculously healed. I thought, I thought it was going to be all great. It's supposed to be my best life now, and they present the gospel so, so wrongly that they're hurt with the Lord because how can this have happened to me? How can bad things have happened to me? I said yes to you. How can this happen to me? Well, the thing is. God sometimes don't take you out of prison. Sometimes he, come, he comes with the key, opens the door, and locks it behind you. Say, okay, I'm, me and you are in, in it together. Let's get through this together. I'm here with you. Let's mm -hmm. push forward. But yeah, that's probably what the most, one of the most problems with, with Christianity is that a lot of people are hurt because they get slapped in the face thinking that it's supposed to be better. If I give my tithes and offerings, I'm supposed to be supposed to be a billionaire in about a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll uh, continue in 11.11 uh, 11 says, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Certainly not. 
but through their fall to provoke them to jealousy, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Now if their fall is riches for the world and their failure riches for the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. So it already tells us that they're that that they have it already that they that they stumbled. So we and we we have stumbled. We we we're, we're we're gonna stumble, but that doesn't mean that we're that we're done because we stumble. We 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 have Jesus. We have the mercy. We have the grace that 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 He gives us to be able to stand and continue to go on uh, doing the things that uh, that He's called us to do. And still He's still using two different types of people. The Jews and the and and the Gentiles, even in now, pri I see it as prideful and humble the people. Covers mm -hmm. With the every, with the, everybody in that in that in that manner for who don't for who are not receiving of it, but in that humble sense where they already from where they're coming from are already a lower class people, and and and, and to receive salvation, like he's saying, he's the Lord is using that to make the Jewish people jealous. For a stumbling block, a stumbling block, like I said, not all things are just because it's a stumbling block. It's gonna, it's meant to, to hurt, but it's meant to grow for the Jews so that they could receive salvation. That look at these, the Gentiles received it. How much more did y'all call yourselves Jews and the uh, uh, and the chosen people and 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 the, and with the Messiah being as king and the Messiah is here and they still rejected it because it wasn't, it wasn't to their liking. It wasn't to their to their stereotype of what they said that the Messiah was going to be and what and what he was going to come and be able to do, they didn't they didn't want that. They wanted something else, so they kept they still Caesar. Don't. Yeah, and yeah, and they, and they still and to this day they still don't. And now it's even it's even gotten to where we even even with that it's almost like a, a mockery and a and a spectacle of the uh, of the word of God because just like we said the way that the doctrine has been distorted the way that. Uh, uh, that that some ministries and, and, and some churches uh, portray different uh, different only like parts of the gospel and don't give you the uh, the fullness of it, the the blessing part, but not what you need to do to receive the blessing. How you need to fall in line with the with the will of God to be able to continue with these good with these good works and to to further the kingdom. And you're not gonna you're not gonna want to further the kingdom if you have a different intention in your heart and it's to better yourself or for you to gain. From these, uh, for you to gain from the gospel or from these good works, instead of to further the, uh, to further the kingdom. But all in all, the rejection, the uh, the rejection is not final because some still, uh, some still do, some still do believe, some still do accept their callings, some still do a walk in, a uh, 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 walk walk with the spirit and uh, and are being led by the spirit. So there's still that remnant that is that is still being raised up and that is here now. For I speak to you, Gentiles. In as much as my ministry, for I speak to you Gentiles, in as much as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. If by any means I may provoke to jealousy those who are my flesh and save some of them, for if their being cast away is the reconciling uh, of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? So still, that's like we spoke earlier about provoking into jealousy, going to speak to somebody and giving them the word if they're if they get uh, they get upset or see that it's working, that the Lord is showing uh, me favor and you somebody knowing where I came from and what the Lord is doing in my life. Well, a lot of people may get upset because well, how can he use this person? Just like what you said, brother Jr. Well, how, who are you? Did you go to uh, to seminary? Did you do all these? Did you do all these? Did you do all these things to get to where you're at? Or was it having faith in Jesus Christ? And then that same faith would lead you to do these other things that need to be done for the good works. So it's gonna, that's all gonna, the good works are gonna happen still when we put our faith in God and they, and then they, they both line up. I believe that's where the anointing comes. That's where the, uh, 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 the yoke, uh, the yoke is broken and, and it's light where we can do that when we fall in. Because we're all giving these gifts, we're all giving, we're, we're all giving the calling, we're all do, we're all, everybody is, each and every one of us. And when we allow that Holy Spirit to move and to receive it and to, and to work through us, then we can go out and do, and do what He's called us to do. Because any other time we can do it with our own, of our own, and it may not go as we, as we want it. But when we do it and when we come to the, we come to the Lord, we come to Him first and we ask, we ask what He would want us to be doing. We ask what He, how He would want us to, uh, uh, 
to be going through uh, whatever situation that we're going through, whatever we see that we know that we are growing in our faith, that we know that the Lord is working in our lives, but we can't see it outside of that. So we need we need to continue to to grow and continue to just stay to stay just to stay connected and further and further in 16 it's uh, uh, gonna start speaking about uh, I'm gonna stop right there it's gonna start speaking about the uh, the olive branch and and and, and go into the uh, into the into the roots in there and they're being cast away but in that in that manner for that for that that stumbling block again that was for salvation for the uh, for the Jews and in that in that way even Paul to that extent not held the Jews to a higher but he would go to preach in the synagogues first and preach there to the Jews once they once they rejected him like if he was going into they rejected well then he went out into the street and preached to the to the Gentiles where they received them as we come sometimes in the in the buildings and wanna and, and wanna give a word and it's it's rejected because of of, of church hurt or because of, of, of a building or because somebody has done this in a, in a building but and if that message is not received here that doesn't mean that we stop and just stop in this building but we take it out to those who will receive it to those uh, like brother said Gentiles is for everybody else there's two uh, those who are with God and those who are against it whether we put a title uh, 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 blacks, whites, uh, Hispanics, uh, Israelites, uh, Hebrews whatever the case may be it's either with God or with or without them but in that manner we choose on how we're going to on how we're going to do it, on what side we're going to uh, what side we're going to be on and where we're going to be used where we're going to devote our time to uh, where we're going to put uh, uh, put our put our thoughts and put our actions into uh, into God's word and let the and let the holy spirit uh, work in us and, and guide us and lead us and all these and all these things that uh, you know, that we're doing we, uh, I'm going to throw a little idea out here and let y'all Mm-hmm. Chew on it a little bit. Think about it. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry, so I chew. Uh, a while ago, as, as we were sitting here when we first started, the Lord gave me a, a little vision of, uh, I, I think it was for church, but we can do it for Sunday school, for anything else. Instead of having one person just sitting up there and preaching, and the way that goes sometimes is we get one avenue of preaching mm -hmm. yeah. have two or three guys maybe even sometimes some some ladies uh, depending on what we're talking about uh, up here and and we discuss I noticed as we were discussing here when they was actually discussing going on two or three different people uh, I believe that will capture people's Mm -hmm. Intellect what more than, than whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. I think mm -hmm. we, a it lot of been there's, there's, name. there's yeah. ways to set it up. You need it. You're gonna have to set up a table and then have the camera focused in a spot that catches everyone. Well, yeah, which we're is probably gonna be, do that. Probably have to move it a little bit every now and then. But uh, and, and those are problems that can be figured out. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, you need a cameraman. That's it. Right. Well, that'd but be more. Instead of just having one sign that's going to teach you, have different ones. Well, no, like one will be in charge, but, uh, but, but uh, he won't. He won't come with forty-five minutes of monologue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll come with okay. We're going to study this, knowing that we're going to get two or three or four people mm -hmm. chiming in and um, bringing out different aspects. Both whether whether that's Sunday school or whether that's church, I I, I think it's a, that's a good idea. Like brother said, to it not just keeps us awake, but to engage so that we're so that we're not just sitting. Okay, brother Ted's gonna or me is gonna do it. Like I said, forty five minutes, and I'm just receiving because we can we can read that at, at home. But when we're discussing it, well then you the Lord is speaking to you, and that's your view on this on how you on what the word is saying. Or and the other way to look at that is. We've got three guys sitting here going, oh, boy, this is boring. And the other guy, God speaking to him <laughs> mm -hmm. and saying, here, open your mouth and mm -hmm. speak. Amen. I, I believe that's it's, a... It's, it's amazing to me, like, whenever you take a subject, you take a Bible study, let's say, of a prodigal son, 
is different whenever somebody is bringing it from the perspective of the prodigal son, but it's totally different whenever you bring it from the perspective of the father. And you know, a lot of, you know, whenever, and also whenever there's a dialogue, there's, there's questions that real peop, people out there really want to ask. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, like today, like the subject today about uh, the way that church has presented the gospel wrongly that out there people are hurting and they don't know and they're hurting because they're mad with God because it's supposed to be a great life and so forth and so on. There's different aspects. And just just that. taking that statement right there. People <coughs> are presenting the gospel wrongly. Okay, let's present it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's not talk about all the ones that are doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. right? let's, let's do it right. What do we have to do to do it right? We have to get off our premises and, and go reach people. God never told people to come to the church. Mm -hmm. Never. Not one time does he say, people, y'all come to the church and get saved. Mm -hmm. What does he tell us? Go. Yeah, and go. Make disciples. And as long as, as we, we stay, go. as long as we give them the truth from here in scripture, then it's nothing more, nothing less from us. And a lot of, like Pastor said, it's some, and a lot of them are not going to be receiving of it, because it's going to, it, the what the gospel should do is convict you. If you say you're a Christian and you're and you're and you're still living in sin, the word of God should convict you. The word of God should make you feel something inside to say, man, I I I shouldn't be living this way. If you don't, then you need to you, you need to get back on you. You need, to, you need to do something because there has to be. If you if you are a believer. You believe that, that Jesus Christ, you, you believe that he died for your sins and, and, and for your salvation, then there has to be an evident change. And when you're in that, and when you're not walking, when you're not walking in that way, conviction from another brother, conviction from the word of God, conviction from somewhere, from the Holy Spirit, should get a hold of you, should make you want to change what you're doing. Even if it's from something that he did, from my, my case, he delivered me okay from, uh, from uh, being an uh, adulterer, being a womanizer, uh, being an addict, being all these ugly things, to still now I deal with self-control. Now I deal with with these with these other things, but I have to give that to God too. That that same way, like brother said, it's still it's still the same. It's still sin. It's still sin. But I can only have that removed is if I stay in this Word of God and I know what He says about that sin. He, I I know what what's the guideline. To keep me from this sin. Okay, this is the, for here, if you do all these things wrong, this is the consequence. But if you do them right, this is the, con this, this is your consequence. And it's, it's either right or wrong, 50-50. It's not, oh, well, maybe this so much. No, it's either right or wrong. That's what, that's what it's going to be. We can stay, we can keep it 50-50, but then what are we gaining? Then we're just lying to ourselves because we're not letting the Holy Spirit or we're not letting God have full control. We're saying, okay, Lord, to a certain extent, but just like we've been saying, once it gets tough, once it comes time to really put our faith in you, God, once it comes time to really let go and really trust what your word says and what your promises say, that's when we like, oh, uh, well, that's a little bit too harsh for me to do right now. You know what I mean? Everything, all these other things are going good. I don't want to mess it up with this, with going full, with full this way. No, it's got to be that way all, all the same time. No, we're not going to do it every second of the day but that's what we strive for that's what we've spoken about weeks before that we're going to continue to strive for that we're going to continue to want to grow in christ continue to be christ-like and that's all he asked for is that we strive to search him to seek his uh not just to seek his hand but we want to seek his face before we receive his hand